Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, what's going on, baby? What's up, what's up? How you doing? Good. Okay, so for all of you out there that don't know, Brandon, what is this, IG and what, Coffee No Cream? Nah, I, I, I didn't <laughs> use that. Brandon, Brandon Guff Con Giant. <laughs> Brandon Guff Con Giant. That's what I want to use. Why are you trying to switch your handle? <laughs> like, nah, two different things. Good. So yeah. actually, um, so Brandon, listen, tell us, I know probably a few months ago, you started getting interested and excited about contracts and things like that. It's been a few months? It's been since the start of COVID. Yeah, I started a new website in the background. Yeah, call it. It's been since the start of COVID? Yeah. Okay, so now you actually helped us out during COVID, and you were helping us get registered with states and cities. Tell us about, like, a little bit about that experience and what that was like. Well, I mean, I was, so, I was in charge of basically getting the company registered okay. um, with every state, well, all the states and a lot of municipalities. So I just, it's very different. Each website is different. So it's not like, you know, you can just go there and it's one central website for all the states or one central website for all the municipalities or any of the big cities. It's all different. It's all a different setup. Some of them require you to pay money to register. Some of them have a, a crazy website. Some of them you have to do like an actual write up. Like you have to actually like, like edit a PDF and like send it to them and stuff like that. So yeah. And then I had to, you know, I had to basically reach out, contact companies about PPE. So it was my first experience really dealing with anything that had to do with states. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> you, know, you know, it's interesting because, again, I know a lot of people, you know, they talk about state contract, state contracting. But when, you know, like you said, when you did the registration, they were not all the same. No. And when you did the bidding, they weren't all the same. No. <laughs> was there anything to say? A couple of them, but like very far and few between. Like okay. everything was basically different. Okay. All right. So we had different websites, different bid sites, different registrations, everything. Everything. Okay. All right. All right. So now let's fast forward to and that kind of the story I want to talk about because, you know, we only have 30 minutes. Lately, and by the way, Brandon is, is new. He just started working with us. At the same time, Mavs, we decided to bring on three interns. <laughs> Brandon's new. And yeah, Free Throw Frank, yes, we are related. If you haven't guessed by now, that's baby coffee. So that is, he's actually my son. So yes, we are related. So, but that doesn't change anything, by the way, Frank. That doesn't change anything because Brandon comes from a different background than I do. He grew up. You know, he could tell you basically what he, you know, what he did basically throughout school and everything like that. Yeah, I was, um, I did acting. I was yeah. Um, and all that stuff, so. Right. Um, that's what I did mostly. Yeah. So he has no knowledge or experience of government contractors other than hanging out with my friends that we are all government <laughs> contractors. But he was a little kid back then, so he had no idea where the money came from. <laughs> he didn't ask any questions like any other kid does. So it's only recently when COVID hit, that really he decided to come and start working with us. Is that fair? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and so, again, he's really just been in the background, helping with the editing the videos, helping with changing the thumbnails and things like that. Okay. So now what happened? What changed? <laughs> so I was – basically, I was listening to all the calls because – you know, we started getting, I basically started getting on all the calls, every single call, um, all the lives and stuff. And I seen people, different, different stories about people and stuff like that. You know, everybody was winning contracts and, it's, you know, it was good, very inspiring. And then we had went on a boat like last week and um, we were in the boat and we were chilling <laughs> and, and we were looking at the build. you know, we were looking at the buildings and we look at the houses and, you know, it was a couple of houses, 12 million, a couple of houses, 3 million. Uh -huh. And you just kept talking about, you like, that's within, you know, you're basically saying these things are within reach. They're right. not super far. Right. They're not, um, right. you know, they're not like a, a mystical thing. So it was like, okay. And that sat with me. And then I thought, I, I thought about the boat club fee in my head. I right. kept remembering the boat club fee. So I kept yeah. thinking about that. Right. So then I was, and literally the weekend, right? Like literally the weekday right after Monday or Tuesday, I was editing the videos. And then I stumbled upon Maria's video of getting her first consulting client. And then... When I was looking at the video, and I, you know, I, I'm listening to the video more of like from a perspective of like you know time stamping and basically the stuff that I do behind the scenes. But right. then I just heard her say, 
it just wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> and then I don't know why that, like, when she said that, I was like, hold up, hold up, hold up, one second. Let me, let me listen to what Maria said. Like, let me, let me actually listen to what Maria said. So I literally played back the video. I just, Paul, you know, like Maria said, okay, well, at first I did this. And she did, you know, uh, she did some market research, obviously, prior. And then, you know, went on DSBS, Dynamic Small Business. I, I forgot the the the. the, the, the I don't know the acronym. acronym. I don't know the name. I don't know the acronym, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> but I just did basically all the sets Maria did. I already knew how to do the market research, uh, mostly because, you know, I'm on the course. So I've seen the course. I've, Right. And by the way, for everybody in the course, don't expect to finish. <laughs> I was 80% finished a couple of weeks ago. Now I'm 65%. I don't know how. I don't know where it came from, but I'm further than I was before. So mm -hmm. don't expect to finish <laughs> so fast. But anyway, right. I did that. And then I did some market research. I went, found an opportunity. Basically looked for some companies that could fit the opportunity. Then I looked to see if they done any if they had done any work in the past year or two. And I was really looking for people who done like less than five projects, you know, people who are actually, you know, need help, obviously. So right. I did that. I did like three calls. And then I got um, the first person say, oh, yeah, you know, we can talk Wednesday. <laughs> and then it's like, oh, OK. Like, you know, like, and I'm just, by the way, I mean, for everybody, I, I don't necessarily know what to say. I just knew that <laughs> this is what you had to do, you know, like. And you just do it. Like, you, you just reach out. I knew you needed help with government contracts because of the information. And I just said, I can do it. I just said, yeah, I can help. But you, you know what? You told me your spill. It sounded pretty good to me. The spill, I mean, that was acting, to be honest. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, that go goes ahead and act for the people. Tell the people your spill. Go ahead and act for Okay, people. so this, my spill act was, hello. I, well, first of all, I said, hello. You know, my name is Brandon Coffey. I represent um, Evan Coffey LLC. And then I said, um... So I was doing market research and I just saw that, you know, because um, the company I was talking to recently got their 8A certification. So I said, I just saw that you recently got your 8A certification. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Well, um, in my market research, I also see that you haven't had a lot of contracts in the past year or two. So, and then, you know, and I said, is this correct? You know, I, I always ask them, is this correct? You know, all the information I'm searching up. And when they, once they confirm all that's correct, then I say, well, you know, my name is Brandon Coffey. I'm a government consultant. My only job is to help um, companies get government contracts. So, and this is what I'm here for. So I'm here to take your 8 certification and use it to your best of ability so you're not wasting your 8 certification for nine years straight and then, you know, not getting any contracts. So, I mean, that's just what I said. I can't do it verbatim, but <laughs> that's basically what I said. I just told them not to waste their, not to waste their 8 certification because uh -huh. you can get a lot more contracts. Okay. And then the dude said, yeah. So... He said Wednesday, but he called me Tuesday. And this is last week, by the way. He called me last week, Tuesday, and said that we had to reschedule. So then when I got on the Tuesday call, and I was talking about, like, oh, you know, like, I have to reschedule, and I was, like, pissy. Well, then, you know, everybody was like, oh, you know, don't have the attitude. You know, like, you can't – you did three calls. You know, like – You got you did three calls, calls, and you got one. Exactly. <laughs> right. <laughs> three calls, and I got one. I'm like exactly. – So I'm just like, you know what? People okay. tell me that they call a whole list and no one answers and no one responds. And I'm just like, come on. Yeah. Exactly. So I'm just like, okay, hold up. If you're doing, you know, one person said 100 calls. I said, okay, 100 okay. calls. So let me go back. Let me look somebody else. And it, back to three calls. You know, like it didn't take more than three calls. Okay. I found someone, found another opportunity, three calls. I found um, the only plastic manufacturing company in New Jersey. Right. Um, and I reached out to them and... Yeah, right now we're we're trying to get some signed. So they Okay, but you reached out to them and you but you, I mean again, you educated them and on some of your research, you told them some things. Yes. So I I reached out to them. I reached out to them, I called them, and then I sent them an email. The 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 president of the company sent the email over to somebody else and they they set up a call with me literally the next day. So the next day by the way, I did the I did I Hold on, wait, wait. Hold on, wait. You said the president of the company sent your email to somebody else, and they sent a yeah. call with you. Okay. Yeah. I just want I want people to know that it's – how old are you, by the way? 23. Okay. A 23-year-old called a, a plastics manufacturing company, the only one in New Jersey, and the president of the company sent over his email to somebody else. Yeah. Okay. The only 8A certified. The certified. only 8A certified one. Okay. All Plastic right. manufacturing. Yes. So then he, she, she sent it to somebody else. 
he said, can we set up a call? I set up a call with him. I did. I really did market research because, you know, I didn't know about them being the number one. I mean, the only 8A certified, all that stuff. But when we got in the call, I didn't talk about none of that stuff. Like that, none of the numbers and stuff that I looked up about, you know, and many, Soul Source Awards, you know, like none of that. Any, I didn't talk about none of that. All I said was, listen, basically go back to what Meb said. This is a relationship game. I told him, you know, first, first I got on the phone. I said, listen, I'm not selling you anything. It's not a solicitation. It's, this ain't got nothing to do with that. Okay. I'm presenting to you an opportunity to just expand your company in the government arena. You guys had three contracts last year. That's great. Very small contracts, but we can make that way bigger. We can get way more contracts. Like it's not, it's not a problem because you have, you know, you have very big selling points. I said, the number one selling point you have is you're the only 8A certified plastic manufacturer in the whole state. I said, you can easily, I said, that's an easy selling point. Uh-huh. I said, that's one. And then I, I kept going. I was like, and you have, you know, you the the next goals that you have. Basically, the next goals they have, the last three next goals they have, I really forgot which next goals going back. <laughs> I don't even know what the next goals they have. <laughs> right. but, you knew at the time. You but, knew exactly. it was important. That's right. Yeah, I knew at the time. But there was one company who got sole source every single, every single contract. That you know, like they had, they, they, they were the same company that got sold as them, and they got all the source source. And they got all the source source. Right. So right, I was right. telling, them, I was like, listen, they got sold sourced out twelve million dollars last year. Yeah. I said, and they're not even in your state. I said we can get some of that. We can get some of that pie. Right. And I said, you guys do. And I looked at the revenue. I said, you guys do one million in revenue. I said we could turn it up to three. We right. can very easily, and right. it's not gonna be hard. I said it's not gonna be a you know an overnight process, but you allow me to do the market research. You allow me to take your company to the next level. We can go to the next level. Like, I don't see why we can't. Now, something else that we talked about before was you had reached out to some other companies that had already were in that same field also that graduated. Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, yeah, I reached out to um, a couple companies who actually graduated from 8A in the same plastic manufacturing next code. Right. And I haven't spoken to them on the phone yet, but I spoke to, I think I spoke to one dude and he told me a couple of things, but it, I didn't like speak to like really anybody like significant on the phone yet, sure. but yeah. Once I can, I already have the list. I already have. I'm waiting for them to sign an agreement, and I, I'll reach out to them. Like, as soon as they sign the agreement, I'm calling all, everybody on my so, list. So, all right. So now the the second guy. What happens next? What about the second guy or the second company? So the, how do so we get? The, you said you sign an agreement. You skip the step. I did skip. I'm skipping all that stuff. So he, you know, after he, you know, fin- I finished my little spiel on the phone. He said it sounds great. He asked me what's the next steps. I said, well, the next step is for us. So, you know, uh, I'll send over the agreement. By the way, I, I still didn't, this is me not know. I still didn't know nothing. Like, I'm just talking like, when, I didn't know he's going to say next steps. I, I was going <laughs> to finish my spiel. And then he's like, no, that, you know, that's, that's very important. I need to know these things. And he was like, so what's the next steps? And I was like, oh, well, the next steps is. And then I was looking, I was literally looking at the uh, course. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm looking at like, well, I have to send over the consultant agreement. And once I sent over this consulting agreement, you know, we could definitely get started. <laughs> so <laughs> and he's like, okay, yeah, send it right over. So then, you know, I was already happy. So I called you up. I'm like, hey, you know, like, they say, yeah, about this other stuff. Like, what? Yeah. Like, and then you're like, all right, cool, but, you know, we got to go over the consulting agreement. All so right. um, we went over the, um, we went over the consulting agreement literally Sunday. Sunday. Like, literally yeah, a couple Sunday of days ago. The consulting agreement. <laughs> and then, by, by the, the way, Sunday. I don't think you guys heard this. I want to repeat this. Sunday, right? Because you guys, I know everybody's TGIF. Sunday, we are going over a consulting agreement so he can send it to this person for them to review. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just one. We did record the video. I lost it on my computer, but we did record it. <laughs> so for <laughs> everyone, did. that will go to your course, Demetrius and Nikki and Colin and Guitar, all of you guys. Yes, this will go into your course. So it will make you less completed on your course too. All right, go ahead. So... By the way, you know, another thing is, it's funny that Brandon did not say, when Brandon called me and the guy said yes, he was screaming on the phone and he couldn't even have his breath. <laughs> yeah. He was That's like, true. Ha, ha, ha. Very true. He was Very like, true. that, that, ha. I was like, what? What are you saying, boy? He's like, ha, ha. The guy, the guy, he, was, he said yes. That's yep. how he was reacting, really. Yep. He, he was not this calm. He was like screaming at, on the phone. I didn't even know what he was trying to say to me. He was just like screaming. He was so excited. 
Yes. Um, I'm missing very big parts of the story. That's a big yeah, part of the story. Yeah, that's a very big part of the story. I'm very <laughs> calm right now because I'm chilling. Yeah. But he was screaming. He could not I even was scream. screaming. He could not even get the words out of his mouth. I didn't know what the hell he was saying. I'm like, Brandon, who do you got? What did you get? Like, did you win the lottery or something? And so, <laughs> all right. So now you did a consulting agreement. All right. We did that Sunday. You sent it over Monday. Mm-hmm. Okay, what happened? <laughs> so we sent it over. Um, I sent it over Monday. Uh-huh. And when I sent it over, he sent back an email basically saying um, that he couldn't, the, the attorney didn't advise them to allow me to use the email address. Right. So if there's a way we can get around that. But he said he was happy with everything else. Yeah, he said, no, he said he's excited. He's a okay, so, so he was happy. So again, this is a very, it, this is a very good point for people out there. In his consulting agreement, it says you get 25% of the profit, right? Correct. Okay. So the guy's attorney reviewed the agreement, was happy with all the terms, except that they did not want to give Brandon a company email address. Am okay. I correct? Okay. Correct. Correct. Yeah. So no. they're ready for everything else. They just didn't want to give me a company email address. And then we talked it over. We found some, kind of discussed the different ways. Yeah. Right. We yeah. talked it, yeah. So, yeah, we, we, um, we had a conversation um, actually yesterday, <laughs> like maybe yesterday. Yeah. And he was, and then basically, um, Mr. Coffey was just saying that it's imperative that we get the company email. And it's imperative because when you represent yourself to the government agencies, your whole spiel is to be transparent and say exactly what's going on. And, and I'm trying to represent a company and I can't send, like, I just can't send an email from my company's email address talking about I'm representing somebody else's company. Like, it's just right. not, it isn't, it's not, it's going to look fishy. And Mr. Coffey was telling me earlier about how, like, the, like the government is skeptical of big guys, big greedy companies trying to sneak in and, you know, yeah. get contracts on the low, like, from somebody else. Right. And that's a perfect example of a flag for the government where they're, like, they'll be like, what's, you know, what's going on? So what happens is, what he's trying to say, again, and I've had this happen to us recently, they want to make sure it's not a shell company or someone pretending to be a small business. There's some examples of that. I forgot the name of the company. Pierce, can you put the name of the company in there that does that now? I think it's A, AWS, something like that. But there's some examples of companies that literally, uh, they pretend to be small business, right, mm-hmm. to get those contracts. And so we want to be, we're very cognizant of that and leery, and we just want to be on the same page and make, that's the reason why for the email address, so we are sending an email from the company as if we work for the company. And then that way it's all up and up. And it's like, no, we're the small business itself and not some consultant guy representing a company. Because I could be a consultant that actually comes from a large organization. They don't, the government doesn't know. Yeah. So okay. that's the first option. And the second option is um, basically we can partner up. Right. So if he doesn't want me to use their email, then we can partner up and I can represent the company from you know, that the, our company, Evan Golf, and then, you know, yeah, they'll basically right. subcontract under us. Yeah. So right. That's so second. that's it. So I told Brandon that if, if he decides not to do that, we can do a joint capability statement with their company. And then I'll let Brandon use Evan Golf because I have past performance. And then that way, when he does a joint capability, now when he's talking to the government, he's still, he's still being transparent instead of him being a consultant to them we'll be a team and partner to that company. So there's more than one way to skin a cat. And I told Brandon, now, personally, I think the other structure that we propose is better because then Brandon is getting his, you know, he's, again, I don't even know these people. I don't even know their name of the company. I know nothing. I only know what he tells me about after the fact. But I, I like the first way because then Brandon deals with them himself and then he gets his own experiences that he can learn from. So to answer your question, no, you don't need a joint, a JV to do a joint capabilities statement so you don't all right anything else <laughs> no nah, that's that's about it that's literally as that's all the way up to date that's as of yesterday i sent the email yesterday uh-huh. so we have different options and we could talk about it and i'm waiting for email response back okay so. all, right. all right thank you sir let me finish up we got about 12 minutes i'm gonna talk to the people <laughs> good. Well, all right so maybe i don't do a good job enough of promoting but people are asking me, do you have a course? I want a structured curriculum. I like what you're doing. I like the IG. I like the YouTube. Visit us over at govconedu.com to find out all of our offerings. For one low price, you can get more than a dozen courses that we teach. 
from proposal writing to subcontracting, uh, prime becoming a prime contractor, becoming a subcontractor, becoming a consultant. If you want to do IT or staffing or janitorial, we talk about all these things inside of our platform over at GovConEDU.com. That's G-O-V-C-O-N-E-D-U.com.